In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the play from the Gun Bunch Verticals to be able to beat a lot of Mabel coverage as well as cover two, really any zone coverage that you're going to be facing from the Gun Bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become a better Madden 21 player and so if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to stay up most up to date with everything that's happening here on my YouTube channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the gun bunch verticals. And really quickly, before we dive too far into the video, I want to let you know that if you want to get my complete gun bunch offensive guide, it will be available for you in the description. It's just $15, and it literally breaks, you, it breaks down the entire offensive scheme, how to use it, when to use what route combinations, and why it is so successful. So if you want to get that complete offensive guide, that will be available in the description of this video. All right, guys, so gun bunch verticals is what we're going to be going over. And real quick, I want to share with you my zone drops just so you can kind of be in the loop as far as what I'm doing defensively. It's kind of a common zone drop uh, cocktail that you're going to see against the gun bunch. That is 25-yard flats, 20-yard curl flats, and then, or, I'm sorry, 25-yard flat zones, 5-yard curl flats, and 5-yard uh, hook curls. Okay, guys, so uh, defensively here, I'm just going to kind of come out in a basic little cover three style defense. And all we're going to do as far as our, um, just as far as our route combos on this, is we're going to put the running back on an in route, the slot receiver is going to go on a streak, and the solo receiver, um, he is going to be going on a slant. So the running back's going to go on a little in route just like this right here. The slot wide receiver is going to go, the R1 receiver is going to go on a streak. And then the square receiver, which is a solo receiver, is going to have a lot of space to basically be able to work this underneath slant route. Now, most of the time, their user is going to be going over to the R uh, or to the square receiver, but sometimes he will occasionally work over in the bunch side. So it's just kind of something you have to watch. But what you're going to see is that this route to the circle receiver, whenever you motion him out, what's likely to happen is they are probably going to press coverage. On you as you see this little press coverage animation here um, now if I throw this because I have that slot streak the way that Madden works right now it is almost guaranteed especially if they're running some type of cover three it is almost guaranteed this year that they are going to jump to that R1 receiver and so the you don't even have to do the motion snap glitch if you just let him kind of set his feet out here if they're in a cover three defense you're going to have a pretty good shot at hitting this circle receiver uh, once he hits that sideline. As you can see right there, easy read and easy pitch and catch uh, for the offense. Now, let me talk about a couple of adjustments that you might see. Uh, one of those would be for them to run a cover three invert where they basically are deep halfing on that outside of the field. And pretty much the same thing is going to happen. You're going to notice that a deep half is going to pretty much immediately invert in, and you're going to be able to hit this wheel route as it gets to that outside really tender area of the defense. Now the next adjustment um, would be that 25 to 30 yard, you know, kind of cloud flat style coverage out of a Tampa 2. And let me just kind of share with you what's going to happen in, in, in a situation like that. You're going to see that, you know, we're basically going to kind of create some opportunities here. But essentially this little slot streak is going to be very wide open. As you can see, um, that slot streak is very wide open. Now really quickly, you are going to Obviously, you want to make sure that you're planning, though. It is very likely that they're going to user the slot streak, just from my personal experience with this and just kind of seeing this firsthand. So that means you have to have a, a kind of a different option. And uh, one of those options is this is this uh, circle receiver kind of late in the play. As the, as the play kind of develops, you're going to see that the circle receiver will have a pretty good shot. Um, at getting open just because of the spacing again you're going to get him out here and if you throw this quick enough as long as that flat zone is dropping back meaning he doesn't come forward at the snap of the ball then you're going to have a really nice little window to be able to hit him early uh, with that circle receiver and again a lot of it has to do with him setting his feet because with him setting his feet he's going to kind of pause and then run out um, as you see there we threw it that time we threw it a little bit too late and the corner was able to jump on the ball. So it's just something, it's kind of a timing thing that you want to kind of break down and master. Now, again, a lot of people, 
with the way they're going to run cover two is you're going to see something like this. It's almost guaranteed that you're going to be seeing a lot of Mabel coverage whenever you run the gun bunch. And that's where this play really shines is against Mabel coverage because when they Mabel coverage, what's going to happen is this tight end is going to be super open right up the seam, very easy little read that you can hit him. Now, if you wanted to leave this little crossing route to the R1 receiver and you don't want to bring, you know, maybe maybe you're sitting there, you know, saying, I don't really want to have two streaks going into the same area of the field. I understand that completely. And you're going to see here that if we leave that crossing route, we're still going to be able to hit that X route kind of coming over the top of that. You're still going to have all of those opportunities. Now, the one coverage that I think can give this a little bit of trouble is certainly man coverage. And that's where the running back and the um, that's where the running back and then the the receiver on the left side, the solo receiver, comes in handy. If they are running man coverage, that running back in route is very consistent. It's almost always going to get separation for you against the man to man coverage. The other route that you have in your arsenal that's going to be fairly effective is going to be the square receiver here, Devonte Adams, uh, kind of a solo receiver. But basically, what's going to happen? Again, you're just going to kind of create your vertical concept here. But what you're going to notice is that square receiver, as long as he's a good wide receiver, good one-on-one -on -one receiver, he's going to typically be able to gain separation against that man-to-man -man coverage too. And really what that leaves is once again coming back to that Tampa 2 style coverage and how do you attack something like that? Well, again, this little route to the circle receiver is, is really the key. You know, both of those two routes – that X receiver is super underrated as he's going to get in a nice little pocket against the defensive coverage. Another thing that you're going to be able to do is against a, specifically against that Tampa 2 kind of coverage. Um, if you watch this R1 receiver kind of work across, um, he's going to be running right into his own drop, as you can see. So he's not exactly the best candidate, but if you streak the R1 receiver, that's what I'm talking about more so specifically against that cover 2 coverage is if you streak that R1 receiver, whoops, I messed up a little bit here. Let me reset the play. Um, but if you streak this receiver to the that R1 slot receiver and then you motion out the circle receiver here, what you're gonna see is that circle receiver will hit a critical point at which he is gonna be gonna kind of open against this. If I just pass that to the right, I have a little bit of a decent opportunity to be able to kind of fit that in against the cover two. To me, the cover two is really the issue here. Um, Everything else is going to be pretty flawless. Now, again, if you are facing a lot of cover two, even if it's like a stock cover two, uh, meaning they're not making a ton of adjustments, you're going to be surprised at how consistent your tight end route is going to be for you against cover two. Um, just because of the space that you're allowing yourself to have, you're going to see you're going to be able to cut that off very consistently. So you're either going to have your running back or your tight end against pretty much every cover two in the game. So... Anyways, guys, that's how I like to run the Gun Bunch verticals right now in Madden 21. If you have any questions about the offense or if you would like to, um, you know, test it out with kind of the free sample version, all you got to do is text me. My number is 208-218-6900. It's in the top right-hand corner of your screen. It's also going to be in the description. And then if you guys want to get the full offensive guide that literally shows you step-by-step how to use this guide in a live game, shows you everything you need to know, breaks down every play that we run, why we run it, and how we run it. Um, that ebook is available in the description of this video, and all it is, it just costs 15 bucks. It's a great way to support the channel, and it's a great way for you to be able to learn what I believe to be the best offense in Madden 21 right now. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text.